My super chewer is currently off camera chewing some paper, so yeah. <laughs> I think it's time we open this box and get her something appropriate to chew on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly Nascimento, and I recently, like maybe six or seven months ago, quit working for a multi-level marketing company, and now I educate on the dangers of MLM, but one of the other big things that I do is take care of our puppy. She is eight months old now. She is a big puppy. She's a Newfie Doodle, a Newfoundland Poodle Mix. We got her last summer in 2022 to train her as an autism service dog for our autistic son. And so a big part of what I do now that I am not working anymore is uh, training her. So currently we're still really working on obedience. Yes. Girl. Yes! Good job! Leave it. Leave it. And helping our son build his bond and connection with her eventually will move into more actual service tasks and public service and things like that but for now we're mainly working on just your typical obedience and taking the best care of her we can and one of the things that I do to take great care of her is enrichment it's really important for me to provide her with mental and physical stimulation and one thing about Mina is that she is a super Super chewer, you could say. This is our second bark box. We loved what we received in the first one, so I'm really excited to share this with you. I have not opened this yet. Let's open it together and then we will introduce Mina to everything. All right, let's get to opening. So I have a link in the description below where you can order your bark box, and if you use that link, you're going to get double everything in your first box. You're gonna get double toys, double treats, and it does benefit us as well. It is an affiliate link, so not only do you get double, but we get, I think it's like a certain dollar amount maybe off of our box, I don't even remember, but we do get some benefit, so I just wanted to let you know that. So if you are interested in trying BarkBox, please use that link, we really appreciate it. Every box comes with a theme. It looks like this theme is Christmas. It's so cute. So it's early January now. This is our December box that I'm finally getting around to open. Um, so it is Season's Greetings. It looks like some of our options would be this Wacky Wobble candy cane. It comes with a variety of textures and a peppermint scent. That's interesting. We've never given Mina anything with a peppermint scent. Okay, last box we did get something like this that had two layers of play. Mina loves to chew, but she doesn't typically like chew through her stuffies. Um, so she hasn't chewed through the other one yet, but apparently this is is like a terrible fabric so of course with most toys and treats you want to supervise your dog and so when it comes off you discard it and then there's like a more rubbery kind of toy underneath so that I think is the ginger ball man so we'll see if we get the ginger ball man in here they give you a little recipe for these holiday wreath treats that's really cute oh here's the other one a gummy chum a gummy chum has extra large treat capacity. Oh, I would love to get like a treat puzzle toy in here. It's made of rubber, yeah, treat dispensing. That would be cool. So let's dig in and see what we got for Mina. All right, so let's do treats first. I've been getting a mix of treats and toys and actually after you open your box, you can go online on your account and hi Mina. Oh, she wants to see. Do you want to see what you got? 
Um, you can go online and rate everything you got and let them know if you'd like more or less treats or toys or if you got the perfect amount. Mina has had like a pretty sensitive digestive system the last few months. So if we do introduce new treats, it's just really slowly one at a time. So I did actually request for the next box to get more toys and less treats because um, otherwise we'll just have this huge backlog of treats. Although we did introduce one of the treats last time and she really enjoyed it so this one is a new one this is a turkey and sweet potato recipe the ingredients are not too much it's turkey barley oats vegetable glycerin cane molasses sweet potato dried cultured skim milk salt apple cider vinegar mixed to tocopherols it's a preservative and rosemary extract farm-raised turkey real sweet potato natural jerky I feel pretty good about a treat like this, so we will try that, but like I said, slowly, one at a time. Um, this one, these Magic Jerky Bars, we actually got this in our last box, so I'm kind of bummed that now we have two bags of this. I hadn't gone on and rated our box yet, so this just came. Hopefully she likes them. I don't think I had her try this one yet, so fingers crossed for that, but it's made with sweet potatoes, blueberries, and cranberries, so again, a pretty, like, natural not a lot of different ingredients treat so i am pro that okay she's laying next to me being such a sweet girl now um all right we've gotten sticks these types of sticks before but we haven't gotten the chicken ones um this has no hi <laughs> are you wanting to try oh she just did a sit for me i wish i could show you you're such a good girl do you want a treat Okay, let me look at your toys and then we'll play, okay? Oh, she's being so good. We got the pork one, which I don't think I gave her yet. She got also like a pumpkin-y one. She's not the biggest pumpkin fan, um, so she ate it, but she wasn't like super stoked on it. She's more is like she likes meat-flavored stuff. Okay. Oh, is this the pumpkin one? Yep, this is it. So she, like I said, she ate it. She liked it, but I don't think it. she was like so stoked on it. It's a pumpkin honey, pumpkin and honey recipe, grain-free chew stick. It is a large chew. She's like between 60 and 70 pounds now, I would bet. Last we weighed her, she was 60 pounds. Um, this is made of cheese, <laughs> cheese, peas, chickpeas, pumpkin, coconut glycerin, potato flour, brewer's yeast, honey, cinnamon, ginger root, and citric acid, which is the preservative. So again, I'm a fan of the treats that they send in the bark box. We like them, but Hopefully just because we have to give new things so slowly and gradually and in small amounts. She just jumped up on the table. She's excited. You want to try this jerky, girlfriend? Let's try the jerky nibbles. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, you can. All right, Mina, come here. Let's see if we can get you on camera. I will remove the table eventually. Come. Yes, come. Sit. Sit. You smell? Yeah, sit. Let's show her she's gonna get set. Yes, she just backed off camera. She's right here. Good girl. Yes. Very good. Do you like? Oh, she loves. She loves. Do you love? I mean, she's not a picky eater, so I'm not surprised that she likes it. So those are a win. Okay, two toys. I need scissors. Okay, what did we get? Oh, Christmas tree. Cute. It looks like there's a top and a bottom. Oh, it's got an opening in the bottom. So this will be a great thing to try for her afternoon kibble. Of course, it's a large for 50 plus pounds. The features are natural rubber. It's a wacky wobble, so toss, spin, or roll for a variety of fun movements. Dishwasher safe in the top rack. Yay for that. BPA free, a variety of textures for a more engaging mouthfeel. Hi, Mina. Um, add treats or kibble for a more rewarding playtime. So yay for that. We will, she's starting to knock stuff over because she's excited. Are you excited, baby? Okay, and then we have the gingerbread dog toy. This is hard. What is this? Okay, I'm really excited to see if she likes this. This is for serious chewing, it says. I'm excited to see if she likes this because she typically likes like 
ingestible or digestible, what do you call it? <laughs> digestible chews. Like, um, I don't know, we love the earth animal no hide chews. Um, we love yak chews um, that our favorite brand so far has been Mighty Paw. She's obsessed. She also has enjoyed chewing on water buffalo hooves, hooves, hoofs, whatever. But she hasn't loved like the... Uh, one of them she kind of liked, but like Nyla Bone, she's already like going after this. Like Nyla Bone style chews, she hasn't loved a ton, but she did like the like super tough chew that we got in our last bark box. So I think she might like this. She's getting so eager to check this out. I'm gonna move my desk in a second. <laughs> got the box and we'll play with her so this gingerbread um is nylon and it says play tip chewing can get rough sand down this toy, toy if you start to see sharp edges the last toy we got said the same thing it's dishwasher safe in the top rack it says for paw and jaw unique chew points for your dog to grab and grip which is great because she'll lay like in a down and she wants to like be able to hold on to this right while she's chewing so that's great it is a gingerbread scent made with non-alert Allergic, non allergenic oils. Um, <laughs> this is just funny. It says, not the villain in a 1980s ski movie, unlike most brads, you know. Okay, so she's going nuts, obviously. Hi. Oh, she's doing it already. Let's go open these up and play with them. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like this Christmas tree it doesn't come apart for like easy kibble loading, but this cross is a little bendy I think I really hate tree toys like this where you have to like load it into the tricky part I will BRB I'm gonna load this you don't need to watch me load this this is gonna take a minute and be annoying so there's a con for this but I will show you how she likes it I'm real excited to see all right me and the baby are you ready Let's see how this goes. She's rolling it. We do have really small size kibble, so it's coming out really easily, but I highly recommend if your dog is more intelligent, needs to be a little busy, needs mental stimulation, you wanna feed them in some sort of puzzle or feed her like a topple or a Kong or something like that. Did you get it all, baby? I'll pick up the pieces. What do you think? Do you like your treat? Let's see what Mina thinks about gingerbread. Can you sit? <gasps> yes, good girl. You wanna try? Oh, you're excited? Check her out. Ten out of ten for gingerbread. I love anything that keeps her busy. That's gonna give her stimulation that she needs. I've heard that like ten minutes or something like that of chewing or licking is equivalent to like I don't know a thirty-minute walk or something. Don't take my word for that, but it's really good for them. Dogs need to chew and lick and all of that kind of stuff. here on our ottoman.
Okay, so review of this bark box. I give it a huge 10 out of 10. Like I said, this is our second one, our second super chewer box. You can choose super chewer or just regular bark box that'll give you more plushies versus kind of like the more hard rubber chews. So it depends on your dog, whatever you think. You can go on, you put in all the information about your dog, what you want, do you want more treats, more toys, even split. Um, you can put in if they have any like allergies, like we put that we don't want any beef toys because we think she might have an issue with that. So, so far everything's been great. It's followed everything that we wanted. You can tell from the video that Mina loves everything in it. I'm a fan of the treats that we've been getting. She likes them. And you can see the toys were great. I love the Christmas tree. I'm always looking for more treat toy, treat dispensing puzzle toys. So I'm really excited that we got that in our box this time. We didn't get one last box. So I'm definitely gonna five star that toy and hopefully get more treat dispensing toys. And then Gingerbread, she loved him. She's gonna continue to chew on him and chase him around our hard floor for sure. If you want to get your own bark box, your first bark box, if you use my link in the description or Mina's link in the description, let's say, you can get double the stuff in your first box, double the treats, double the toys for no extra cost. This box with tax and whatever, all, all fees total was about $38. I would say definitely worth it considering the high quality of toys and treats that come in it. You're going to be spending more than that if you were just getting these from the store. And I love that they just come every month and they come right to your door. You don't have to go out looking or shopping and reading reviews and all that. You know that good quality stuff is coming specifically chosen for your dog. We're loving BarkBox. If you give this video a like and leave me a comment below if you want to see an unboxing of our January box, definitely let me know because that is on its way and I would love to share it with you um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Mina Newfie Doodle puppy training service dog training content because uh, the more of you that like and comment on this video the better I know if you want to see more of this content all right thanks for stopping by I'll see you next time